Today, products made in Kazakhstan are in high demand in neighboring markets. In the first half of this year alone, the figure in all areas of economy has grown 30 percent. In addition, the balance of prices in the country is also contributing to the economies of other countries. This was shared by Qasim Jomar Tokayev in his State of the Nation address recently. Five initiatives mentioned in the State of the Nation address will improve Kazakhstan's performance in foreign policy. Uzbek expert Rafshan Nazarov has also agreed with this statement. The spokesperson of the experts' community said that regional cooperation between the neighboring countries and transport services have improved trade and reduced barriers. This important document is primarily related to many areas of the transformation process. The changes and transformations are related to socio-economic areas and infrastructure development. This will contribute to both Kazakhstan's internal economy as well as to the regional economy, including other countries in the region as well as societal cooperation. Expert from Karagandi, Serik Sanobayev, opined that with the introduction of a three-year ban on income tax, new entrepreneurs can successfully start and develop their businesses. Meanwhile, beginning of January next year, small and medium-sized enterprises will be exempted from a three-year auditing. Initiatives included in the State of the Nation address will give a huge opportunity to beginner entrepreneurs to expand their businesses and attract investments. When a young business person will establish his or her business and start having revenues, then he or she can be ready to pay taxes. Kazakhstan has added green energy on its list of export products. The country will begin to supply the energy to foreign markets through the territory of China to the Southeast Asian countries. This is probably about the closest regions of Kazakhstan, from which you can immediately export this energy through China. An arrangement with China is in its infancy stage. The preliminary assessment of this project is ongoing. Our center also attracts Korean experts to participate in a trilateral format, which includes Kazakhstan, China and Korea. Kazakhstan is ready to implement the projects on its territory within the scope of one gigawatt. На своей территории реализовывать проекты в принципе в пределах объема одного гигаватта. Besides exporting green energy, Kazakhstan also has big plans for the development of the overall alternative energy industry. The companies from the country of morning freshness are also invited to cooperate in upcoming projects. A new green technology park project, Jasil Arnau in Shuchings, has garnered the interest of investors. Meanwhile, solid waste processing system will be introduced in the housing and communal services in Burabai district. The meat export from Kazakhstan will be increased by eight times by 2022. Livestock breeders are developing solid measures to increase the volume of exports from 3,000 tons to 25,000 tons of meat. One of the measures is to use new reproductive technologies. Uh, yes, de France. There is a sheep breed called Ile de France. We need to bring the male breed of this sheep and mate it together with the local female sheep in order to have a new type of breed. The average weight of the sheep is between 22 kilograms and 24 kilograms. If we increase the weight to 35 kilograms with a total number of 600,000 livestock, we can sell 25,000 kilograms of mutton, which will then be exported. The next task for the breeders is to meet the international meat standards by increasing the requirement level of domestic meat standards. According to the Ministry of Agriculture, the state fully supports the development of the industry. Sheep breeding farms receive subsidies for the one-time purchase of breeding livestock in the amount of 8,000 tinge per head. The breeders will also receive 2,500 tinge per head upon introducing the breeding selection works. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Agriculture in Kazakhstan is also discussing about the development of textile manufacturing factories. The production of fine wool will significantly contribute to the support of farmers in the country.
Biotechnologist Bayan Dusinbek studies the milk composition in a special laboratory workshop in Kizalorda region. The scientist is working on finding new type of dairy products. Last year, Bayan came up with an idea where she made an ice cream from camel's milk using a special processing technology. Now she has also started producing kumis from cow's milk. We produce kumis drink by using whey from cow's milk. Its taste as well as chemical and biological composition is no different than those of mares' milk. Most importantly, the drink is very healthy. Experts said that using cow's milk to make kumis has a significant advantage. Firstly, the milk is several times cheaper than mares' milk. Secondly, the cow's milk is also available throughout the year. The new product has been approved via numerous research works. Together with the National Biotechnological Center in Almaty and the Agrarian University, we conducted a research on creation of the kumis drink. We are still studying. We will make a large scale of kumis production after we completed the research. Specialists said that there are a number of plans for the future, including the increase of capacities and expansion of markets. We organized an agricultural cooperative in 2016. We breed 750 camels, 285 cows and 150 horses. Since the product is organic, the demand for it is high. To date, the small enterprise makes 10 types of products, including shubat, ayran, ice cream, cottage cheese, kurt and children's yogurt. Kazakhstan has invested more than 300 million US dollars into the economy of Uzbekistan. The investments were made into metallurgy, agriculture and textile industries. The information was announced at the platform of the International Investment Forum in Jizakh in Uzbekistan. Nearly 250 entrepreneurs from 25 countries attended the event. Investors discussed prospects of cooperation in agro-industrial complex, mechanical engineering and other industries. Two free economic zones operating in the region provides big opportunities for businesses. Tashkent plans to fully exempt foreign investors from paying taxes by 2020. Moreover, the entrepreneurs can rely on customs privileges and other exemptions. Our slogan is to revive the brand of Bukhara Karakulchi. Therefore, a big cluster on the production of furs and sheep skin as well as the wool processing will be built. The most modern technologies of wool manufacturing will be brought here. Trade between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan is planned to reach 4 billion US dollars by the end of the year. The Consulate General of the Neighboring Republic, which opened in Aktau, is set with the task to contribute to the dynamic development of cooperation between the two countries. The transit potential of Mangistau region plays a big role in strengthening interregional relations, increasing passenger traffic and partnership in the field of tourism. The recently launched Beno border of Uzbekistan Highway will allow a shorter route for Uzbek products to be sent to Russia and Caucasus markets through the seaports in Kazakhstan. Aktau is a Aktau is the sea gate of Kazakhstan. The entire freight traffic, sea freight traffic passes from here. And this is a short way for Uzbek goods to enter other countries through Kazakhstan. We plan to modernize crossing points on the border of Uzbekistan. Of course, when there is a flow of goods, the population will naturally travel and investors will communicate with each other. Our consulate general will surely give an additional impetus to the growth. Unity in Diversity. OSCE representatives are studying the Kazakhstan model of inter-ethnic harmony. Successful experience of the country in maintaining racial harmony is very important for the international community, experts opined. The significance of the Kazakhstan model of social harmony and also of the Assembly of the People of Kazakhstan, a unique racial institution, was discussed at a meeting of Kazakhstan's ethnic assembly members with the OSCE High Commissioner for National Minorities, Lamberto Zanier. Foreign guests were also acquainted with the activities of the House of Friendship in Nur Sultan. It is even more important to look for successful models 
because these models are the ones uh, uh, who assist uh, the international community also in finding recipes uh, to strengthen the resilience of societies to conflict. The very active uh, engagement of uh, uh, representatives of, uh, uh, of the Assembly in a number of events that we organized in the OSC, where I found delegations, I found uh, uh, very active uh, participation. The Kazakhstan model was presented to the HCNM and it received very good ratings. It was presented at the United Nations. At one time, Kofi Annan expressed his opinion on the Kazakhstan Assembly. The development of all relations is primarily based on the value relations, and this is what connects the representatives of different ethnic groups in Kazakhstan. The International Congress dedicated to the 80th anniversary of the famous writer Abish Kekilbaev will take place in Aktau. The event is scheduled for October 10 to 12. Famous scientists from Russia, Japan, Germany, Turkey and other countries will be the guests of the event. Festive events will start with the opening of local history museum named after Abish Kekilbaev in the cultural center. Also, a monument dedicated to the outstanding representative of Kazakh literature and culture will be built in the city. The events dedicated to the the 80th anniversary of Abish Kekilbaev will be continued on December 6 in the capital of the state, Nur Sultan. Abish Kekilbaev it is just the beginning of Abish Kekilbaev's second life. From this celebration, we begin to learn the will of Abish Kekilbaev and share it for everyone around, for all the inhabitants of our country. So the events will start on October 10. <laughs> Museums in Kazakhstan are switching to a new format of work. Guides will be engaging in dialogue with visitors. History buffs will enjoy the quests, quizzes and master classes. The new format will help to achieve the main goal of the museum, which is to popularize the ancient repositories. Also, previously inaccessible exhibits will be taken from funds as part of the nationwide campaign Parade of Museums. For example, the country's National Museum will present an exposition of original picture by American artists as a gift to the visitors. His name is not known yet. Such unique exhibits will be presented as part of the campaign in all 245 museums in the country. Now we are creating a new electronic database of museums in order to make it in 3D format and offer online visit to the museums. Thus, once again, we want to attract the visitors, the youth and younger generation, so that they will know the history and indirectly build family values as well as make the heritage of our ancestors a priority for them. Currently, the total museum fund of the country has more than 2.5 million exhibits. However, only 10% is exhibited so far. The parade of museums will be held every third Friday of the month. In the future, there are plans to open the museums for free visits every week. There are more than 600 facilities of cultural, historical and natural heritage recorded in the sacred map of Kazakhstan. There are 58 facilities only in Almaty region. Many tourists have visited the places. The number of tourists is increasing every year. Jarkent Mosque is one of the most visited sites in the region. More than 3,700 people visited the mosque last year. The grand building made in the 19th century has captured the interest of both locals as well as foreigners. People arrive here mostly from Poland and other countries. Tourists say that they've heard about the holy places from their friends and relatives who have already been here. The building was used for different purposes since the establishment of Soviet Union. It used to be a warehouse, granary and barrack for border guards. A study on the mosque was conducted for the first time 70 years ago. As a result, the historical building was taken under the state protection. The building is unique because not a single nail was used for its construction. 
I came here for the first time. This is a very interesting and amazing place. Next time, I will come here with my family. We have given services worth 77 million tenge over the last six months. Comparing to last year, this is between 2 million and 2.5 million tenge higher. The majority of tourists come to see the mosque. They also visit the holy tree. Over 2 million tourists visited the sightseeing places in Almaty region last year. This year, 2.2 million people are expected to arrive to visit the tourism facilities in the region. Along with fishing, hunting and lotus fields, Kumar Sheik can become another brand which attracts tourists to Atarao region. Kazakhs used to grind flour and bake bread using Kumar Sheik seeds. They also used to do tara and talkan made of these seeds. They also used to cook porridge and produce butter from the Kumar Sheik seeds. <laughs> Kumar Sheik is put into a pot. When the water boils, the grass is taken and filtered. Then it is put into the pot again and fried until it becomes golden color. Tara is obtained from this and the talkan is made from it. Kumar Sheik attracts local and foreign tourists who are interested in the history of Kazakhs. It is very exotic for foreigners. Ethno tourists listen to stories with pleasure and try organic products, which are made from Kumar Sheik camel's milk and cow's milk. I've heard a lot about this plant today. If I could have a wish, I wish to build a monument for it. Kumar Sheik grows in desert. Its seeds are rich in vitamins. The quality of this plant can be compared with the famous black caraway seeds or jojoba. New art masterpieces decorate streets in Almaty. Bright and unique graffiti painted on buildings have been created by artists from different countries, including Kazakhstan, Brazil, the Netherlands, Mexico, Belarus and other countries, which take part in the International Mural Fest. Belarusian graffiti writer Alexander Vlagi is an author of this painting. He painted a little girl on a 100 square canvas. <laughs> Uh, Petroglyphs from the Tamgalatas cave are my idea. I found information that there are famous Almaty apples upward on the table. As an artist and a graffiti writer, I'm very interested in this topic since graffiti takes its roots from the petroglyphs, which are ancestors of the graffiti scratch on the stones. Mohit Dulu created this artistic painting based on his sketch. Ethnic motives and contemporary technologies are mixed on a gigantic canvas. A golden female wolf is protecting her human baby. Turkic people are derived from a female wolf. She was the mother of a baby whom the people come from. This is an illustration about it. The totem animal literally feeds the human. This is a tie between human and nature, the tie that connects the human with his or her roots. We should remember this. I think this illustration is a perfect discussion topic for the younger generation. Artists submitted their sketches on different topics to local authorities and made agreements in advance. Organizers said that the masters of the street art have a great interest in Central Asia. A lot of sketches by foreign artists are drawn in a national style. They want these sketches to be recognizable by our people. They research a lot, create and offer their works. Some of them want to show their art. Some painters create the works on common values such as family, sports, friendship and love. These topics are universal and can be understood by everyone. In the last five years of the festival, Almaty has become an open-air gallery. Buildings in the city are decorated by nearly 30 graffiti writers from 10 different countries. Approximately 50 murals beautify the streets of the city. Additional eight paintings will be created this year.